In Newfoundland, they're facing a dilemma over wildlife, too. What to do with two washed-up blue whales? The magnificent creatures that are an endangered species were among nine blue whales that died after being caught in thick pack ice. And two of the giant carcasses, thought to weigh more than 100 tons, are now rotting on the beach. One of them ended up in Trout River. That's on Newfoundland's west coast. And today, it was towed to nearby Woody Point. Our Ross Lord was there for the massive move and he joins us now. Ross? Well, Donna, when you're standing this close, the biggest impression is the smell. An estimated 80 tons of decaying blubber. But rather than let this creature decompose on its own and wither away, there's a plan to recover the remains for the benefit of Canadians. A longliner tows a blue whale from one Newfoundland community to another. Even in the fishing town of Trout River, this is something they've never seen. I say goodbye, blue whale. When the whale carcass first washed up three weeks ago, residents wanted no part of it, fearing it would explode. Then the whale became a tourist attraction. After the federal government approved of the Royal Ontario Museum recovering the remains, some felt Trout River should get something in return. If we had something long-standing, like a blue whale exhibit right here on the waterfront of where this beast landed, then, you know, that could sustain this community for a long time to come. But the museum decided it was best to move the carcass elsewhere so they could disassemble it along with another one further up the coast. For researchers, this is a rare gift to study an endangered species. So we'll bring it back to Ontario, we'll clean them, we'll, we, we will, which will take us about two to three years uh, to get all the oil out of the skeleton. Uh, once, we, once we have that cleaned, we'll, have, we'll, uh, have, we'll put that in our, in our research collections. They'll analyze the DNA and maybe put the skeleton on public display. This is something that's being preserved for all Canadians. But first, they had to steer the plan through a reluctant town council in Woody Point, the whale's new destination. The contractor says that there is very limited smell, however, uh, that's to be decided. Towing the whale through the water went smoothly. Hauling him ashore was a different story. The second try didn't work either. Finally, success. I think it's a tragedy and it, it makes me want to cry, but I think it's wonderful that people's knowledge will, of, of uh, whales will be enhanced by this. They've promised the community the whale won't become a burden. Blubber will be buried at a nearby landfill and the skeleton will be shipped to Toronto within about a week. Donna? All right, Ross Lord in Woody Point, Newfoundland. Thank you.